Hi, I'm Alan Pope, developer advocate on Telegraph at Influx Data. And I'm Josh Powers, senior engineer on Telegraph team at Influx Data. So getting started with Telegraph, there's loads of plugins. Where do we get started? Right. So Telegraph has hundreds of plugins to choose from and even more configuration options. At the heart of it, there are four different types of plugins. Inputs that reach out to various inputs to collect metrics and data, and outputs that send those metrics that were collected from the inputs, and processors and aggregators that are used to modify, customize, and aggregate those metrics. How do users define which plugin to use? Telegraph uses a TOML-based configuration. In that configuration file, users specify which plugins they wish to use. At a bare minimum, users need to specify at least one input and one output. Users can have all their different plugins in a single file, multiple files, or even a configuration directory, and Telegraph can read from each of those different scenarios. We've got an example here. What's this demonstrating? Yes, yeah, so this is an example of somebody reaching out to an HTTP endpoint, grabbing some JSON data, processing it, and sending it out to a couple of outputs. Can you walk through this in a bit more detail? Yeah. So at the top of this configuration, we have agent settings. In this case, the user is admitting the host name from the final metric. In this case, where the user is running Telegraph, the host name doesn't matter, and so we omit it from the final metric. The second section are our inputs. In this case, we're using an HTTP input to reach out to an HTTP endpoint and downloading some JSON data. This JSON data is using the JSON v2 parser to parse that data. The JSON v2 parser is our new and improved uh, JSON parsing solution that is much more flexible and much more customizable for JSON data. The next section is a processor. In this case, we're renaming the final metric. Instead of naming it HTTP, because it's coming from the HTTP input, we're renaming it to throughput. And then finally, at the bottom, we have two outputs. In, in Telegraph, all the data that comes from all the various inputs get sent to all the various outputs. And so in this case, we're sending it out to a file. This is a great way to debug Telegraph and ensure that the data that you're collecting is what you want. The final section is outputs to InfluxDB. This is our InfluxDB v2 output. And in this case, we're sending it to our cloud-hosted InfluxDB server, along with the various necessary information. That's awesome. Where can people find out more? Users should check out the documentation for Telegraph to learn more about the hundreds of plugins and configuration options. We can't wait to see what you build.